So now that we have everything up and running, we're going to install Laravel on our virtual machine. And the first step to do this is uh, globally require Laravel in with Composer. Now, if you've not worked with Composer before, it's a dependency manager for PHP, uh, and it just allows us to easily install any dependencies, and we can install Laravel through this as well. So I have the installation guide up uh, within my browser, so I can follow along any commands I need to paste into here. Um, but the problem at this stage is any commands we run we really want to be running them within our virtual machine. But at the moment, we're just on our command line within our, uh, within our machine, our, our local machine. So for any system commands, it's always best to SSH into your virtual machine uh, and run them from there. But how do we do this? Well, we're currently in our main homestead directory, which is where we're always going to head after we've maybe restarted or just returned on our computer and when we run Vagrant up. We already have our virtual machine running, so what we can now do is use Vagrant SSH to SSH into our machine. So I've just run that command, and you can see here we're now in Ubuntu, despite the fact I'm on a Mac and running OS X. So let's just quickly list a directory here, and you can see that we have that site file. So that's the file that's been syncing from our local machine uh, to our virtual machine. So I'm going to CD into that. And you can see our test site there. And again, you'll just see all your files in there. So this is just what we have uh, in sync. So back over to our main directory here with sites, you want to go into that directory if you haven't already. So you're within your list of different projects that you have. And we're now going to, uh, first of all, globally uh, require in uh, Laravel's installer. And this is all within the installation uh, documentation. So if I just grab this command here, I paste this in, Composer's already installed here on uh, Homestead, and that's going to go ahead and just uh, download or, or require in the Laravel installer globally. And this does have a few dependencies to download, so it might take a little uh, while. Okay, so now that that's done, we can use the Laravel command to create a new project. So it's as simple as saying Laravel new and then the name of our project. In my case, I'm just going to call it code course. So that's going to craft our application. And once that's done, we're ready to get going. And again, this command might take a little while to run. So let's just wait around for this to finish. OK, so now that that's done, uh, we'll have a new folder called code course just within here because uh, we called our project code course. And if we just go into this directory, we can see all of the files uh, that would usually associate with the Laravel installation. Now, what we want to do now is actually add a new site to our Laravel uh, or our homestead.yaml file. Because at the moment, we can access test.app on port 8000, but we can't access codecourse.app because it doesn't exist uh, within our configuration. So again, I'm going to open homestead.yaml and under sites, I'm going to create a new site. So I'm going to map code course app and I'm going to map this to home vagrant sites and you guessed it code course. Now, because this is a Laravel installation and the point of entry into the application is the public directory, we do need to include public at the end. But for any non Laravel projects, you can just uh, give the root directory, depending on how it's set up, of course. So let's save this out. And again, I'm going to go ahead and create a new tab within my terminal. And I'm going to edit my hosts file within Etsy. So let's just edit this. Go ahead and enter my password. And let's come down and add in 127 0.0.1 code course dot app and let's save that out so we know that we can access it so now that that's done we're still going to see another problem and this is a sort of common problem where you might get stuck if we uh, head over to code course dot app you'd think that we have everything set up properly because we have updated our homestead dot yaml file for this new site and the new domain We've gone ahead and updated our configuration uh, or our hosts file, but when we access CodeCourse.app, we're still seeing our test app. Now, why is this? 
Well, what's happened is we haven't reprovisioned Vagrant. And it doesn't know that this codecourse.app exists. Well, how do we provision our machine and what does it what does it mean? Well, it basically means that when we provision, we just run everything again to just set everything up as we would when we're booting it up, but it doesn't actually restart our machine. So if we head over to the tab where we're inside of our virtual machine just here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and exit to bring myself back to my local machine. And we're currently within our homestead directory. So what we can do now is we can run vagrant provision to provision our machine. And this should be significantly quicker than actually booting your machine up. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead and refresh codecourse.app on port 8000 and we see our Laravel installation. So we already know how to start Vagrant once we uh, sort of open our computer up and we're ready to, to start working with the Vagrant up command. We've looked at SSHing into our virtual machine with the Vagrant SSH command and we've looked at re reprovisioning our machine with the Vagrant provision command after we add new sites or update any configuration. So let's jump into the next video where we can go ahead and look at day-to-day -day use.